Hello everyone. I imagine some of y'all have watched my videos about the Jews and Jehovah Witnesses. The reason I'm making these videos is very important. If you are a Jehovah Witness, you need to hear this video because your life is depending upon it. And if you're just learning about Jehovah Witnesses, you need to listen to this too. These eight men has stolen something away from the Bible and gave it to people like me that was believing that this was the truth. They told us that God has turned his back on the tribe of Israel, the Jews, and put the everlasting truth into Jehovah Witnesses. I'm going to share something from you from one of their talks. And I'm going to show you what the Bible says from Jesus' own words. Now, if anybody wants to believe the watchtower over the Bible, then you're saying the watchtower is more superior than the Bible. The watchtower is more accurate than the Bible. Especially the things that I'm going to let you listen to and show you from Jesus' own words that these eight men are bitch toil liars. That's what I said. They are bitch toil liars. They claim their God, Jehovah, directed them to move their headquarters from these buildings you see here to here. Witnesses to wrote Relocate the world headquarters. This is the new headquarters. The building. Truthfully, this headquarters was not directed by God to move from Brooklyn, New York to where it is now. That was the eight men choosing to do it. I made a video on that and their own words you don't hear them say we prayed and God directed us to move the headquarters. He demanded us to move the headquarters because he had special purpose for us to move it from New York to here. Well, actually, this is New York, but it's still a different location. Now, remember Abraham, when God directed him from his homeland to where the homeland where the Jews are, and he told him that's just where your descendants is going to live. 
on this land. So Noah's Abraham was show a purpose why he mo was moving there. Jehovah's Witnesses had no reason to leave one place to another unless it was directed by God and he would have to have a purpose for them moving one location to another. So I want to share something with you that I found and we go from there. That was abandoned later on for a more permanent assignment. And uh, some say, well, this is, is sort of an indication of human leadership. It's not the way Jehovah was doing. These persons argue, well, if Jehovah were, was leading us, then he would lead us clearly and directly and infallibly forward in everything that, that we do. So they say this is Jehovah's organization. And then some claim Jehovah doesn't have an organization or one chosen people. And uh, that the idea uh, that uh, uh, all anyone needs is a personal relationship with Jehovah. Now there are those today who claim that the idea of there being one true chosen people of God uh, is no longer a reasonable Christian comment. Some theologians say it's self-centered and egotistic. Uh, even the Jews who held that they were God's chosen people, and of course you have biblical historical proof of that, but some of their theologians say that that concept helped them to endure persecution, and it gives them a hope of having a specially favored place in God's kingdom. But even now, Jewish leaders are questioning that maybe they should back off from that position that they're God's chosen people because it makes them the object uh, of too much persecution in the world today. And other groups like the Mormons who... Now what you just heard, they're saying that the Jews decline to be God's chosen people because they are being persecuted for who they who they were. So they decline to be God's chosen people. And Jehovah Witnesses took that claim and put it upon themselves and saying that they are God's chosen people and they can take the persecution of the world what the Jews could not take anymore. Well, I want to share a scripture with you what the Bible says. Let's listen to John 4, 20. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is spirit. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is... Now this is from Jesus' own words. Now if he knows the future, what he knew then of the world, and he knew the Jews was not going to be salvation through the Jews. It would have been through the Jehovah Witnesses. Now, people, please listen to this and Jehovah Witnesses. Why would Jesus would tell her salvation would be through the Jews? If he knew that he was going to disown the Jews and his father was going to disown the Jews. Wouldn't that make the Bible a lie? Wouldn't that make John, when he wrote this, wouldn't that make book, the book of John 
a lie? If God was going to turn his back on the Jews and and like he said, he said, we worship for salvation is of the Jews. He did not say salvation will be through another source in the future that they would be called Jehovah Witnesses. Jehovah Witnesses have stolen the title or something they had no no right to, to take from the Bible. Jesus didn't lie when he said where the true salvation is through. It is through the Jews, not Jehovah Witnesses. So I'm going to show you one more thing. Do any of the Jews live here? Or are any one of these men, and I'm going to ask again, are any of these men a Jew? No. Is the Jews going to have their headquarters in this new location where Jehovah Witnesses claim that Jehovah, their God, has has, uh, how you say, told him to move here. Or, from on, G on Jesus' own words about Jerusalem, and salvation will be through the Jews. This is the home base, the true home base, where the truth is going to come forth. It's going to come forth from the Jews. It's going to come out of Jerusalem. Not from here. This is not salvation you're going to get from here. All you're going to get from these men is death. Why? Because they are a false prophet. Why? Because they twist the Bibles, Bible around. Why? They rewrote the Bible. So they added to the Bible. And what the Bible says, who adds to the Bible? I would not trade places for them. Because when our Christ comes, he's going to give these guys punishment beyond what any other person would have because these men are false prophets and anyone who follow a false prophet it's just like a blind leading the blind so if they go down in hell you will fall unless you get wise up and wake up and realize true salvation is not where they made their headquarters true salvation is through Jerusalem through the Jews and the Bible. So are you going to listen to these eight men? Or are you going to listen to Jesus' own words saying salvation is through the Jews, not Jehovah's Witnesses? Thank you and have a nice day.